Hey guys, um, it's Mr. Arger. I wanted to talk a little bit about rhyme and rhyme scheme. So um, just to kind of review this, rhyme are when words um, end in the same sound. And end rhyme or external rhyme is when the words at the end of a line end with the same sound or rhyme. Um, I'm going to use an example here from the Campfire song from the um, Lightning Thief Broadway musical. So looking at this first verse or stanza, um, verse if it's poetry, stanza if it's um, a poem, or almost kind of paragraph like if we were doing prose, like normal written works. Um, so looking at this first one, Luke says, my dad is Hermes, he messengers things. You'll know his sign by his shoes with those wings. I'd wait by the phone, but the phone never rings. Oh no. When your dad's a god, life can be tough. I met the guy once, and once was enough. So I went through and found um, the words at the ends of lines that rhymed. So um, when there's different groups of rhyming, non-rhyming lines at the ends of a poem, and it kind of follows that as a pattern, that's what we call rhyme scheme. Um, so to kind of look at this, my dad is Hermes. Hermes is that first line, is that first word here at the end of the line. So we would call that A when talking about rhyme scheme. And I wrote that, those ending words, just I kept them in black. He messengers things. And this is where, where we come into rhyme scheme a little bit because here we have two different um, sounds at the ends of lines. So now we have a B. So A, B. And because wings and rings rhyme with things, where those all have the same sound, those all have the same rhyme, all of those are B. So I wrote them in red. So A, B, B, B. Hermes, things, wings, rings. So that's kind of how we're getting into the rhyme here. Oh no. And no here doesn't rhyme with Hermes. No doesn't rhyme with things. We'll call that C because that's that third kind of sound here. So I wrote that in blue. When your dad's a god, life can be tough. So tough doesn't rhyme with Hermes, doesn't rhyme with things, doesn't rhyme with no. So that's a D. But tough does rhyme with enough. So again, D. And you notice that there's words that rhyme with each other, but it's not like all the words that rhyme, rhyme with each other. So it, it's not like a simple A, a, B, C, B, D, B kind of thing where there's a, a consistent rhyme throughout and all the words that do rhyme rhyme with each other. There's kind of two different rhyme, rhyming groups here, if you will. So, again, because this is by itself here, Hermes would be A, right? Because A, you know, it's the first line, so it's always going to be A. Um, Things, that's where B comes in. So things rhymes with, things rhyme with wings, right? He messengers things, shoes with those wings, both of those are B and so is rings. Then, oh no, because no doesn't rhyme with Hermes, no doesn't rhyme with things. So that's where we bring in that third one. When your dad's a god, life can be tough. Tough rhymes with enough, but it doesn't rhyme with no, doesn't rhyme with wings, doesn't rhyme with Hermes. That's D. Okay. And again, just to look at a different example from the same song here. We can see it happen again and play out again with different, um, with different rhyming words, but still following the same scheme. So if we looked at this in a self-contained way, Athena is the first line here. My mom's Athena. She's smart and she's wise. She's sworn off gluten and she's sworn off guys. But if she came to camp, it'd be a surprise. Oh no. Oh, and my stepmom, she hates me and my dad works all day. So I left Virginia and I ran away. So Athena, first line, it's A. Now we have our second line because it doesn't rhyme with Athena. Wise becomes our second one. It becomes B. So Athena, wise, she's smart and she's wise. She's sworn off gluten and she's sworn off guys. So guys rhymes with wise, it's still B. Surprise rhymes with guys, rhymes with wise, still B. No doesn't rhyme with Athena and no doesn't rhyme with wise. 
so it's C. Oh, and my stepmom, she hates me. The day away, they rhyme. They're D. Okay. So to go through and write one of these, kind of to finish this off here, um, I took the um, the demigod quiz. I know that I'm my dad would also be Hermes, but I wouldn't want to just copy exactly what's here. So let's go through, and we can write out our own verse here. So. My dad is Hermes. Um, I could say he's also got a thieves, so let's go with that. And switch colors, because I know that thieves doesn't rhyme with Hermes. So that's our B rhyme. Um, what else rhymes with with thieves? Um, leaves, grieves, weaves, believes. Let's go with believes. You guys all know no one else believes. Weaves also rhymes, so I'm caught in hope with the lies that he weaves. And again, I know that weaves rhymes with believes rhymes with thieves, so that's those rhymes. Just to keep it consistent, I'll put oh no as my C rhyme. Um, and, the set, and for my second set of rhymes, so it shouldn't rhyme with Hermes, it shouldn't rhyme with thieves, it shouldn't rhyme with no, maybe something like, just to keep it consistent thematically with what's going on. Um, the gods say they care. Well, isn't that cute? And then I'll need something that rhymes with cute. If you're Canadian, you could say a boot, um, root, flute. Loot. Loot is like a uh, like a kind of string instrument, I think, and Hermes has a lute. So promise hollow as air blowing through my dad's lute. Okay. So again, we have that same rhyme scheme going on here. So Hermes, it's the first line, it's automatically going to be A. Thieves, believes, weaves, they all rhyme, they're all B. No doesn't rhyme with any of those, so it's C. And we finish up with our D rhyme on these last two lines. So again, just kind of wanted to take a minute and kind of talk about rhyme scheme and the idea that different lines can rhyme with each other in different ways throughout like a stanza or a verse um, and kind of just take a moment and kind of talk through this a little bit. Hopefully it helped understand rhyme, understand external rhyme, understand rhyme scheme. So hope it helped guys.